That example of 17 people from one village lying in caskets on the same day, what is the difference between that and what terrorists do? In some parts of our country, it's the same thing, isn't it? And therefore, for us, this discussion is not even about departmental and agency tough wars. It is beyond county and national government discussions around mandates. And so we will not wait to ask who has licensed what. Once we discover certain outlets, buildings, facilities are threatening the survival of the nation, we shut them up, we shut them down, we will be able to discuss these other things about licensing later on. Because we cannot allow a murderer to continue murdering Kenyans because they are licensed by whatever agency or whatever level of government. We are going to change the, the country's transfer policy. Any official in the law enforcement and public service space who, through action or inaction, contributes to the death of Kenyans, through negligence, they allow dangerous criminals to organized criminals, including drug barons, to have their way to access the public. That officer will not be transferred, as you've said, Your Excellency, elsewhere, because every inch of our territory requires efficient services and the protection of its national security organs. The Director of Public Prosecutions did highlight here things which are already in our law, which we should be implementing. And again, I see no reason why we are not implementing. The destruction of drugs before they can be interfered with or reused, as has been the case in Kirinyaga recently, I see no reason why anything that is a motor vehicle which has been used to transport drugs should not be forfeited. I see no reason why a building which has been used to store narcotics and illicit alcohol should not be confiscated, forfeited to the state. Therefore, asset recovery, forfeiture, and harsh punishments, even if it includes enhancing the already existing law, will go a long way in the hard solutions to this problem. Excellency, we have a law enforcement problem in the country. And let us face it, now that we have said today is the day of speaking the truth. Excellency, we have officers from various agencies who are dealing with law enforcement, who are doing a commendable job across the country. I've been able to visit many parts of Kenya. I can attest to you without fear of contradiction. We have police officers, we have Ngao officers, we have all manner of officers, including public prosecutors, who are doing a great job for this country, and they need to be applauded. But we also have a group of officers, Your Excellency, and public officials, who have decided to benefit from the death of the nation. And therefore, they are presiding over a systemic or systematic and gradual death of this and current generation.